Are you living life right now? Are you living? Are you living? Are you being? I'm not talking about a sense of Dzogchen, just maybe I am, but I think there's a big differences in possessing something and living living. You can have a beautiful big house, or you can have you can have a lot of, you can possess a lot of things, basically what I'm saying, a lot of possessions, but you might not be living. If the living has to do with, with how much you have to possess, it makes it really difficult. Are you living? Are you being? <coughs> what are you doing in your life? Are you trying to get another degree? You're studying? You have not started yet? You have started? You have not completed yet? You will complete? You hope to complete? What is the plan? Is it to plan to live? Is it plans to be? If it's the case, then you're waiting to finish it to finish to live. You're waiting it to finish to be. You're waiting it to finish to be happy. You're waiting it to finish to some do some very important things in your life. I don't know. Take a vacation, do a retreat or or, or, I don't know, to be happy. But you're waiting it to be, to do, do that. So in a sense, you're not being, you're not, you are not. You have one good excuse, whatever that is. It's a different for everybody. Or you always find another one if you lose that. The only excuse is not to be, not to live. If you have a choice, you will stop breathing, I know that. I'm going to breathe next year. But you go like this, right? So you aren't able to do that. But you are able to breathe bad, which you're doing. Eh? Breathe shallow, which you do. Not to be conscious, which you do. But stopping will be a difficult one. So, so the sense of being we, we kind of always be trying to avoid it all the time. And in some sense, being has to be something very special. I don't know, what is it? You can be after you finish the dec college degree. We can be after you can be with that specific person who don't want to be with you. So you stop being because I cannot be. Be, I cannot be with that person who don't want to be with me, so I've stopped being for the last 10 years. Wow. I stopped being because I cannot do that, what I wanted to do for the last five years. I cannot be because I, I don't know. You look at all the excuses. But your being has nothing to do with any of these excuses. It has nothing to do with any of them. You're completely free. You are completely free. You cannot, you can never not be. It's not saying trying to be, it's saying you are. It's not even saying search for yourself. Because in a way it's saying you will not find it because you never lost it. 
You are. You cannot look for it. You cannot find it. You can just be conscious of it. In which what in what form, in which form, what it appears to be, it's everywhere, in everything, in, in everything. So even though even don't try to select something, whatever life provides, your gifts are together with it. You just have to recognize. Or you will never find it, no matter whatever life is giving, greatest gift that a collective I, I, I say a, a notion of great gift or something like that. Expensive jewelry, fancy car, big check. Doesn't matter what it is. You're not going to find it. Because it has nothing to do with them. Or how little it is, or how nothing it is. You have equal amount of opportunity to experience yourself fully. It's a real democracy.